Good morning and best regards. My name is Robson Roby, student ID 93120812540701 from a Bachelor of Management with Honors program. Through the English for Oral Communication course, course code OUMH1303, today I would like to present to all my fellow course mates my presentation about e-learning versus face-to-face -face learning. Without further ado, I would like to start my presentation about the topic that I have mentioned before. First of all, I would like to tell everyone my opinion about face-to-face -face learning. In my opinion, face-to-face -face learning is how we historically been learning. It usually takes place in a classroom and most times is centered around the lecturer. Face-to-face -face learning requires you at a specific location at a specific time. It also usually requires interaction or participation at times. For most people, going to a specific location at a specific time is what puts them in the learning mindset and helps them concentrate. This face-to-face -face learning has several pros and cons. So now, I will tell everyone about the pros and cons about face-to-face -face learning. First, I would like to st start about the advantages of face-to-face -face learning. The advantages of face-to-face -face learning is number one. You can share and compare notes with your classmates. When you are in a class and you are not confident with the notes you made, you can ask immediately with your classmates. Number two, you get answers and feedback in real time. When in a discussion, you can get answer immediately and no need to wait any longer. Number three, discussion. Discussion can be conducted smoothly without any interruption. And next, you don't have to worry about the schedule. A learning schedule will be provided to you, to you so you won't have problem to organize your learning time. Enough with the advantages of face-to-face -face learning. Next, I'll talk about these advantages about face-to-face -face learning. The disadvantages of face-to-face -face learning is Face-to-face -face tuition can be quite expensive. Not everyone has a comfortable life and with the high cost of living, only a handful can afford to pay for this face-to-face -face learning cost. Number two, you will have to pay for your textbooks. All learning tools have to be paid for and will be difficult for the less fortunate. Number three, commuting. You have to commute from one place to another and with difficult traffic condition, you can be led to be in class. And last, scheduling. You need to change your itinerary regularly each time to avoid any unwanted problems from happening. Finish about the definition, advantages and disadvantages about face-to-face -face learning. Next, I will discuss about the e-learning. We also know e-learning as online learning. Online learning is a new way of learning, made popular with the technology advancement. With almost everyone having a personal computer and a busy schedule, e-learning has become many people's favorite way of attending classes and expanding their knowledge. But Many are still skeptical that you can attain the same, the same knowledge and skills through a computer as you would in a classroom. Online learning can be conducted in any environment, at any time, as long as there is a computer and an internet connection and a person willing to learn. Now, I would like to share the pros and cons about online learning. Let me start with some of the advantages of online learning. The advantages of online learning is number one, 
it is cheaper. As you all know, online learning just need all of us a computer and internet connection so it would not cost us a lot as long as all of us have the two main things. Number two, it's less time consuming. You can all save time because you don't have to move from one place to another. And third, it's flexible. Flexible time for you and convenient for those who work while studying. And the DSD's advantages of online learning is number one, hard to follow if you have have no self discipline. If you have less self discipline, so you will feel hard to follow the online classes. Number two, cheating. Online learning will make you cheat during an exams that are also conducted online. And third, isolation makes you constant, constantly isolate yourself from others and makes you interact less with others. That's all about the definition, advantages and disadvantages of online learning. So, which types of learning would you choose? Everyone have their own decision, but for me, now I prefer the online learning because currently I'm working while studying and it will be hard for me to move from one place to another since the distance for me to attend class is a bit far from where I work. In conclusion, face-to-face -face learning and e-learning are two different approaches that complement different teaching materials. This is why both teaching methods are valuable and will survive the test of time. Some skills just can't be taught through a computer. You can expect for a medical student to finish their studies online. That job just requires that we are face to face with our, our tutor. Other skills are perfectly fit to be taught through e-learning. Thank you.